Estrella Dan. Short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Bows Reviews. I've got one here from Spain today. This is the Estrella Dam. Now before I go any further, you should not confuse this with the Estrella Galicia. That is a completely separate brewery and a completely different beer. All right? Estrella in Spanish means star. So these two breweries have used the uh, star uh, logo and the name Estrella Galicia or Galicia as they say in Spain that is from the north the northwest of Spain this one Estrella Dam comes from Barcelona and this is the one I'm reviewing today okay don't get it too mixed up very easy mistake to make so what is this this is a beer that was brewed in uh, Spain and is still brewed in Spain as far as I know I still think they're independent I've tried to find out whether um, anybody's taken them over. I can't find anything online. If somebody knows, please put it in the comments. The beer originally um, was brewed by um, a fella from Alsace, and his name was August Kunzmann. And Alsace at the time, or, uh, he, or what the people are known there as Alsatians, that was, um, and it was 1876 when he'd done that, so that was just after the Franco-Prussian War. So technically, he was German. I'm glad he's not French because alarm bells will be ringing. The French and beer, sorry, they just can't do it. I've not tried a decent French beer yet. If there's one out there, please let me know. But all the ones I've tried so far, I've tried their beer to guard and all that. Terrible, absolutely terrible. If there's any decent you know, craft brewers in France, please let me know and I'll check them out. But as it stands, nope. Uh, right, so back to the beer. Yeah, this is... Um, uh, is, it, is it the most popular beer in Spain? No, that would be San Miguel. most popular beer in Spain is San Miguel. This is the most popular beer in Barcelona, where it's brewed. And you can buy it anywhere in Barcelona. And, uh, yeah, as I say, it's uh, it's available over here as well. It's won a few awards and stuff. You know, they've got it over on the bottles. And, uh, yeah, that's a bit about the beer. So it's in a it's in a 660 mil bottle, which is a, again there's some really strange measurements that people are putting in the bottles these days. But you know who am I to complain about that? Um, it is a four point. I think it's four point five. As far as I know, where the fuck is the ABV? I haven't got it on here. Well. That is a first for me, that you can't find the ABV. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Bottle's quite nice. It's got an embossed bottle, it's original. Um, it's, it's got original embossed on there, it's got 1876. Um, as I say, there's the label. Here is the cap. I don't know whether you can see that or not. It's got a star on it. But uh, the ingredients are barley from local farmers malted by dam okay that's cool with mediterranean rice alarm bells anyone using rice i tend to uh i tend to think that's cheating a little bit let's stop waffling and start drinking cool Again, there's that, I don't know, it's not a skunky flavour, it's like a big sulphur flavour you get from a lot of lagers, macro brewed lagers. And I'm, I don't know whether that's coming from the hops or the malt, but yeah. And it doesn't smell good, it smells like dog shit. 
I'm sure it doesn't taste like dog shit, but you do get that. So it's like a sulfury type smell, and if you get, you know, if you get your nose too close to it, it does smell dog shitty. Anyway, on the nose, I'm getting not a lot. A bit of sweet malt in there. Very sweet malt, actually. Which now that that horrible sulfury smell has gone, doesn't smell too bad. Let's get it into the glass because I'm trying to find stuff in there that I'm not going to get. Right, still a little bit left in the bottle, but there it is in the glass. Huge amounts of carbonation in that, big bubbles. Not a good sign. And again, the bubbles are sticking to the side of the glass. I've really got to sort this dishwasher out. As I say, if you see bubbles sticking to the side of your glass, you've got a dirty glass. If you get that in a pub, hand it back, tell them your glasses are dirty. Don't drink out of a dirty glass. It's not worth it. You know, you're paying for a beer. Don't drink out of dirty glasses. Says the man who's just about to drink out of a dirty glass. Um, head's dissipating now, it's virtually non-existent. On the nose. That smells of fresh water. Sweet malt. And a very subtle lemon citrus. And that's about it. So it's got a straw colour to it. It's uh, got no head on there at all now. And uh, yeah, I reckon it's time to drink. Cheers. That's actually quite nice, surprisingly. The malts in this remind me of German malt. They've got that sweet sweetness to it that you only get from German malts. And they say this is brewed with locally, locally harvested malts. But they appear to have got that right because Mm. The malts on that are quite nice, but it's weird because as I'm drinking it, if you can imagine this, I'm getting a slightly metallic note and it's, it tastes like it's from the water. Well, it, it doesn't, it smells like it's from the water. This is a weird one because the smell is really not good. But the taste isn't bad. And that's unusual. I have to say though, their malts are really, are really doing it for me. They remind me of um, some of the Bavarian Hellas malts that they use and I'm getting that lovely, big, bready, slightly biscuity aftertaste from them. And it's unusual. I, you know, I was all prepared to start panning this because, it, you know, you see that everywhere. It's in the shop. I bought this from the co-op. And um, it's not bad at all. Can't complain. This is this, this tastes malt heavy. There's no bitterness on it. The hops, it doesn't. I don't think it says what the hops are on this. It's mostly in Spanish, and my eyes. They've got a label. I'm oh, sorry. It's 4.6% in the volume. I've just found that out now. Fucking hell. 
and make that tiny. It's 4.6% in the volume. Uh, it doesn't say, it just says hops that are in here. But it's not bad. I will say that. Out of all the bottled beer, you know, the widely available stuff, and I do see this in the supermarkets, and I see it um, in the shop around the corner, and I see it in the co-op as well. This is not bad. It's nice. <clears throat> I know they're using rice in this as well, which again, that's the second beer I've had today that the alarm bells were ringing with the ingredients, but the taste was completely different. So this one thing you've got to do if you're if you if you're tasting beer, you have got to put your prejudice aside and just go by the flavour. And I've had to do that today, and I don't mind admitting when the beer tastes all right. And I tried it with a dragon stout. That I was, you know, that contains all manner of fucking nonsense, but it tasted quite nice. This I didn't have high hopes for at all, but the malts have really surprised me on this. They're good, and they remind me of the German. Specifically, the Bavarian Hellas malts, but I've tasted it in some of the uh, the lagers, the German lagers like Flensburger, similar sort of malts, and that's good. Mm. No complaints. So, what would I give this? Well, all things considered, this was over two pound a bottle. You get six sixty mil in there. Um, it doesn't taste bad. I, I have to admit, as lagers go, or as I'm assuming this is a macro brew because it's available everywhere. This is not bad at all. I'd give this a seven and a half out of ten. And it's labelled, it's listing all these um, awards that it's got all around the side of the label. And I can see why. It is quite nice. Surprise me. Probably, and I'm racking my brains here, probably one of the best macro brew lagers I've tasted so far. I should try and get hold of the um, Australia Galicia as well. I want to try that and see which is the better out too. So, and uh, maybe even do a comparison and uh, see what gives. But as far as it goes, this is not bad at all. I'd recommend this, I'd say, if you're a lager drinker. And there's, you know, it's, if it's this, Carlsberg, Heineken, or Budweiser, go for this. Infinitely more flavoursome and easier drinking, I think than all them other macro brewed nonsense lagers. So yeah, that is Australia Dam. And remember, beer is working class champagne.